This is something that absolutely amazes and inspires me because researchers are now recognizing that before Columbus, a lot of North America was actually a huge human-managed food forest system. So like a forest, but designed and maintained to grow food. And this is one of the best remaining examples that we have of that system. I'd like to take a minute to tell you about it. And if you're a gardener who has some shade to garden, pay attention. First, the sciencey stuff, because you know I like to be research-based. You see, for a long time, researchers have recognized that the agriculture in the Americas at the, the time of Columbus was more advanced than in Europe. But we didn't even have the eyes to be able to recognize the value and high productivity of these food forest systems. We didn't even see them. A lot of European leaders were openly promoting deforestation for climate change to make the climate here more like Europe. So we just cut down all these highly productive and sustainable systems and replace them with low productivity and unsustainable wheat systems. But we're starting to admit that these systems existed worldwide and uh, that they even were here in North America too. Which brings us to Turkey Run State Park in Indiana. This was a food forest system created and maintained by the Potawatomi, Miami, and Peoria peoples. Until the U.S. government gave it to a Captain John Lusk for his service in forcibly removing Native Americans from this land. But at least he and his son John were nature lovers, so they fought off logging in trusts, and so this remains one of the biggest places of old-growth forest east of the Mississippi. So, on top of just being stunningly beautiful... It gives us an insight into the Native American food system, because there are places where you can sit and look around, and like, almost every plant is highly productive and edible. In the overstory, there are walnuts, butternuts, hickories, hackberries. Towards the sunnier edges, there are persimmons, which are an amazing fruit if you've never tried them. Beneath them, thickets of blackberries, black raspberries, elderberries, sunchokes. Shade gardeners, listen up. Pawpaws, our largest native fruit and also my favorite fruit. That's a happy camper. Service berries as bushes and trees. And some of the understories are thicker with food than like any farm I've ever been to. Our famous gourmet leek, the ramp. Edible ferns, used for this gourmet vegetable. Fairy spuds, these grow in thick clumps and make a great potato. Wild ginger, wild strawberries, may apple. And together these plants intertwine to form a really easy to maintain ground cover. So I recreated that food forest system at home and had an easy, abundant garden. So there's no reason we can't recreate some of this great American food forest for our future, starting right at home.